What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is Danny James. In this video, we are going to be recreating this creative shot from Jihabo's music video with Lil Easy. Uh, the music video goes by the name On A Come Up. I liked this shot and I thought we'd probably give it a shot so that you guys can also redo it for your music videos or for your clients music videos. So let's jump into it. So the first step that is required to create this look is to get some footage. I took a camera, set it up on a tripod on a Dutch angle whereby the camera is facing you like this angle, that's the Dutch angle. And then I took a shot, you can see it's on the screen. Then afterwards I followed it up with a close-up shot of me rapping such that it's uh, near the edges of my mouth. I put some little baby freestyle wrapped to it, you can see it on the screen. I'm in the beach with four trays. I'm in the open in your eyes. Running around in my face. Running in high from the stage. Behind the right to the cloud. So these are the two clips that we're going to be working with. So let's jump into After Effects. Uh, but before we jump into that, if you do end up enjoying this video, kindly give it a like. And if you're watching this content or my content for the first time, kindly subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss such videos also feel free to check out my digital store at dannyjames.co i have some cool editing presets and packs that you might find useful but for now let's jump into after effects now inside of after effects i have the two clips inside the composition i already took an in and out i figured out the best shots where they came in for the two clips so i put an in and out dragged them into my comp and now we can start creating this look now for the first step we have this performance shot as much as the camera is on a tripod we can't guarantee that i will stay still throughout that shot now we need this movement to be registered somewhere so that when we come and bring this close-up shot for the mouth it can be tracked onto that movement so for this performance shot you need to go to your trackers tab right here if you cannot find it go to windows and ensure tracker is enabled so what we're going to do for this clip, we're going to track the motion. So click on that clip, click on track motion. I think we just need one point. We don't need to track a lot of things. So we need to find somewhere with a good contrast. So I think right here at the corner edge of my eyes should be really good. Now once that is set up, all you need to do, you need to click on the play button right uh, beside the analyze so that it goes frame by frame. So I'll give it a moment. Okay, so this is done. We are tracking the motion for this clip so that we can, whatever movements that happen within it, we can register it somewhere. So we won't put these settings inside this clip. We'll instead create a new null object. Right click inside here and add the null object. Now come here and edit the target. Let these tracker points go to this null object. So click on apply, apply X and Y. So everything goes to the null object. So that's our first step. Now second step, we need to work on this second close up shot. So here it is. For this clip, what you need to do, we need to isolate this uh, area of the mouth. But before we can do that, I also want us to stabilize the motion on this clip. And why? This is because my face is also moving just a bit. So click on that clip. Uh, now we are going to stabilize the motion. We need it to be still or stiff. So click on stabilize motion. We need to add a track point. We're going to do the same exact thing. Place it maybe at the corner of the eye. I've experimented this a few times before. So when I'm telling you to go for the corner of the eye, it's going to be really seamless for anyone and it will go very fast so from here i'll just click on play and give it a sec okay so that's done i don't know if you're using this software for the first time i believe you can follow these steps now for this one we're going to apply this stabilization and everything to this clip so i'm going to hit apply and everything will go into this clip the close-up now we have one more step to go. We need to draw a quick mask around the areas of the mouth. So I'll go for my pen tool right here. I'll zoom in and then I'll start right here. Then I'll curve around it. 
So I'll just go around my moustache. So this is a good uh, close-up of the mouth. Let's scroll through it and see if it looks good. Okay, so I think I'll drop these points a bit towards the, the moustache and away from the nose because we'll alter uh, some settings later on. So I'll, I want to keep it a bit close. Now we need to go to our mask settings. Hit M twice and now we can change a few parameters. But in order to do this and do this well, let's drag this clip on top of these others so that you can see what's going on. Go back to your selection tool. You want to scale this short a bit and then you want to place it on that hand. Also zoom in while you're scaling it so that you can get a perfect look. You'll also rotate it where required. You want to place it directly beneath the nose on top of the hand so that it looks kind of realistic. We need to sell this effect better. So I believe my mouse will be there. Okay, that that is something that you can work with. Now that it's there, we can hit M twice so that you can increase our feather up to 50%. Should be okay. And if you need to alter anything, we can alter our mask expansion. So depending on how you look at it, I will decrease my mask expansion so that it's a bit towards the safe area so negative 20 should work quite well if you've drawn your mask in the same fashion i did mine i will rotate it just a little bit yeah now for the next step uh, we need to parent this close up to these null objects so that it follows the movement of the performance shot so we'll just drag this pick whip from your close-up shot and direct it to the null object so this shot will follow the movements within the null object which are the movements from the performance shot hope that's clear now let's look at it uh, i'll enable the audio just for this time so that you can follow through that's quite good now the last step for this is to color match these two shots you can see the lips are kind of bluish and they are not as light skin as the back of my hands so under effects and preset look for the curves drag it on the close-up shot now we need to color coordinate these two so i'll go to the individual colors we need to see the red we need to increase the reds on this uh just a little bit now, after the reds, we need to alter the green. Whenever you reduce the greens, you introduce magenta. So I want to increase the greens instead of reducing them. When we reduce, we introduce magenta. Now I'll increase it just a bit. And then I want to look at it. I think it looks good. I'm not sure if I need to alter the blues. Yes. Whenever you reduce blues, you introduce yellows into your shot. So the lips are kind of blue. Now I think it's matching. Uh, now we have all those changes that we've done, we've added the curves, we've adjusted the mask on the mouth and you've attached it to the null object. So let's preview it and see if we like it. Okay. I think it looks good. I like how it's congruent throughout and the mouth is also well placed right beneath the nose. So I think that's something really good that you can experiment and try out with. If you do end up doing one of these, you can also tag me on Instagram. My handle is right beneath on the description box. I'm happy to see what you guys do with this one. And if at all you enjoyed this content, kindly give it a like and subscribe and I really appreciate that. My name is Danny James. See you on the next one. Peace.